Hello, I'm the Victorian Dad and this is my Demon Souls walkthrough, uh, part one. Um, this is my first time commentating so bear with me and I'll be quiet for a little bit while this intro's on. Okay, yeah, so this is Demon Souls as you can tell. Um, it's been a long time since I played this game, uh, so I hope I'm not too rusty. And I hope you enjoy this video and watch the whole series. As you can see I hate typing with the uh, PlayStation menu set up, I don't really like this one. Uh, just to point out as well, this is not a live commentary, it's uh, recorded afterwards. I didn't feel confident enough to record but live, uh, maybe do that in the future. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I can't remember what I played last time, I think it was a night. As you can see, I've decided to go priest this time. I'm probably going to go for a you know, moonlight sword later on and work with that one. A 
looks freaky enough. I was going to skip the tutorial, but I thought I'd leave it in on this one just to just let you have a look. Anyway, I'll be quiet again while this bit's on. Power of souls brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the same, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurber the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland and Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? fears not death I shall guide you so that you may lull the old one back to slumber I really love the uh, graphics in this game, the dark feel of it, I think is uh, very suitable for this type of game. The Dark Souls, which I played before this game, um, I feel is a little bit more light and doesn't feel as dark and dismal. Um, so I, I much prefer the graphics in this game. to attack, see what that does. There's a phantom there, that's someone else playing the game. 
we got two of these dudes now. Spanish problem now. Cut them both. Grass uh, to basically give you life back. Just drop down here. I haven't played this for a while. There you go. Okay, and this is an arch stone. Um, you basically, whenever you kill a boss, you can use the arch stone to get back to the nexus. Bit work a bit like teleports, and take you back and forth between areas. This guy's a bit harder than them undead. my backstabs. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is a uh, blue knight. Quite a tough enemy, but not too bad. Oh, and there's a backstab. Staggered me there, and you see when he hit my shield and knocked me back. Yeah, that roll's terrible. That's uh, rolling pretty bad there because I've got so much weight on. Oh, and there's a pie. Awesome. Get another one. He's being a bit cautious. Probably just see me kill his buddy. Ouch. Go on, get behind him. He doesn't want to let me behind him. Oh yes. You did.
nice. Finisher. The door behind this guy is a fog door, and basically, a lot of these lead to bosses, but some of them are just to new areas. It's almost like a, a loading screen. to the boss and as you can see I need to roll. Uh, the first time I played this game um, this boss almighty killed me in seconds which really is what's meant to happen. So that then allows you to go to the nexus. Uh, I'm going to try and kill him this time. I know he's move set but he still is tough as you can see I'm hardly hurting him at all. Could be a long fight. Set's pretty predictable. Uh, just back away from that one, Don't dive under his swings. However, one mistake and you're dead because he'll pretty much one shot you. a mistake and that was another mistake I really should have gone around the other way oh well I'll get him one day like I said you really need to die there anyway and you can get you to the nexus part one up here um, if you like this video can you please like comment and subscribe to my channel and uh, hopefully I'll have the part two out pretty soon as well okay see you soon